how to multiply three fractions with different denominators. This is the first fraction, this is the second fraction and this is the third fraction. So, here the denominator is 5, here 4, here 7, all are different. So actually, when you are going to multiply, multiplying fractions, you don't need to think about the denominators. You have to follow just three steps to multiplying fractions. So, at first step, you have to multiply all the, all the top numbers. And in the second step, you have to multiply all the bottom numbers. So, you are getting here a new fractions. Now, in the third step, you have to simplify these fractions. So, look, simplifying fraction means you have to reduce the fraction by cancelling the common factors of the numbers of the numbers related. So, here you can easily cancel this 4 and this 4. So, you are getting here 3 times 1 and 5 times 7. So, basically you are getting here 3 over 35. Look, you cannot, uh, you cannot divide uh, by a factor uh, which will, uh, you, you cannot uh, get a factor which will divide this 3 and 35 completely, right? So, this is the answer. That is, you cannot reduce this. This is the answer. So, let us consider this fraction and 1 by 5. This is the three fractions and they have different denominators. So, how to simply, uh, how to multiply? You have to multiply the top numbers and you have to multiply the bottom numbers times 5. In that, you are getting a, a new fraction and now you need to uh, reduce or simplify. So, 1 times 1, 1. So, 3 times 4, 12 times 5. So, 12 times 5 means how? 60, right? 1 over 60 is the answer. So, from these two examples, uh, you, you, you now are able to multiply three fractions with different denominators.